These disaster pictures, they are everywhere and they need, they cover stretches over several states, not just one area, which is why there are a lot of pleas for help. And unfortunately, I have to tell you that scammers know that there's all these pleas. In this time of need, if you want to give, don't wait until you get a text or an email. Go directly to the site that you want to give money to. I mean, I hate that we have to talk about it, but scammers don't miss an opportunity and they have your number and your email addresses, so they're gonna get in touch with you. I mean, they come out at the worst times, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. they, they hit people when they're down all the time. Yeah. So even if it looks legit, I gotta tell you guys, always go directly to the site, like Lachelle said, whether that be the American Red Cross or Salvation Army or what have you. So Tanya, what about GoFundMe pages? I've seen so many new GoFundMe mm -hmm. sites just within the last 24 hours or so. Yeah, you're absolutely right. There are a lot of them out there and GoFundMe really has gotten much wiser since the company first started. Let me show you this. In fact, when you go on their site today, it has an entire section dedicated to the tornado victims. And what the site has done is they have verified the accounts to help folks who want to help, like me and you, have a little more peace of mind that the story behind the post is actually real. According to their website, GoFundMe says that they have verified that the person has a connection to the pictures of the people that you see and that the money is not released to the person who set up the fund, but is released to the individuals that the money is allegedly for. After that, you don't really know how the money's going to be used. So what she's saying is that the person could say that they're going to rebuild their house, but then decide, you know what, we're not going to rebuild. We're going to use the money to rent an apartment and take the family on the vacation so we can forget about the disaster. And you just have to be okay with knowing that when you give money to GoFundMe, the money can be used for other things than maybe what they are saying specifically on the site. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it makes me wonder though, like, is it just better to do an American Red Cross donation or something specific like that? It really, I, it's personal preference. And Lachelle and I talked about that for a while. You just have to know that when you're giving to a person or you're giving to a family, that they're going to be the ones who decide how it's best used. And if you're okay with that because you just want to give to them, then that's okay. Are you guys feeling like one way or the other about that? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm in the middle because mm -hmm. there's a part of me that wants them <clears throat> Like, as you said, Tanya, if I'm okay with that, then who cares, right? Mm -hmm. I give them the money and what you do with it is your thing. Right. Um, but then there's also a part of me that worries that if they do that, is that really helping? You know, are they going to make the right decision? So I don't know. I'm on the mm -hmm. fence on this one. All right. So maybe giving money isn't your thing. And maybe this is all too complicated. Here's something that you can do. <laughs> How about giving blood? The hospitals impacted need it. Our local facilities need it. You can donate blood at the holiday blood drive. It happens to be tomorrow. So this is great time if you want to help those people who have been impacted in the disaster. It's tomorrow from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Greensboro Coliseum Complex. You can walk in or you can make an appointment.